terms of us who were ordinary teenagers at the time, there was nothing uh, but negativity around. And so I would rather have died than tell anybody that I was in love with this other boy, including him, you know. I never told him at the time. Uh, and that was the option I chose. I actually tried to talk myself. The wall, picking out people, knocking them down, resisting. All through the 60s as a music fan, I'd heard great records, but they were always about somebody else. It was always boy meets girl. Same as the TV, same as the films, same as the books you read, magazines you bought. Everything was boy meets girl. And I thought, you know, if, I, if in my own small way, when I get a music career, if I ever do, I'll, if I ever get a chance to do that for somebody else, then uh, I'll do my best. Sing if you're glad to be gay. Sing if you're happy that way. Don't try. I wrote the song Sing If You're Glad to Be Gay specially for that because the heavy manners made it quite hard to be glad to be gay. And lots of people were wearing badges in the clubs that said glad to be gay. The slogan and the badge came first, the song came second. And when you saw people wearing these badges and then taking them off as they left the club so that nobody would actually know, that wasn't very glad. And went for a walk, queer bashers caught him, kicked in his teeth. He was only hospitalised for a week. All these years later, the BBC should be so positively celebrating the equality that we have found under law, uh, if not in practice, in the workplace, um, in such a positive way by, by having a, a, a wonderful stellar lineup performing live on Radio 2 and giving me a chance to get up there alongside the Mark Arlens of this world and the Will Youngs of this world and, and uh, sing Glad to be Gay live on air. It's, it's a brilliant vindication. All the scandal and slander that fits. They doorstep their victims, tap into their phones. They Homophobia, as a term, was a brilliant turning point for us that it enabled us to actually nail what's going on, which is it's the other person's irrational behavior. It's not a disease that we're suffering from, or a sin that we're committing, or a crime that we're committing. All we can say is that homosexuality does awaken dark, irrational fears in people that have nothing to do with common sense or reality. Uh, and we have to educate. Well,